Well, we see it on city trucks, on signs. Portland has the motto, the city that works. Now, in an effort to make the city's complicated permitting process more efficient, they're doing something. Yeah, 15% of staff at Portland's Bureau of Development Services, the announcement coming today, they will be laid off before the end of the year. Let's check in with Brandon Thompson here now, digging deeper into these cuts and why exactly they're happening. Yeah, it's really revenue problem, but the Bureau says they're still committed to those reforms despite losing some staff. A drop in construction activity in Portland, particularly commercial real estate projects, have led to the Bureau burning through its reserves at a rate that would have depleted those accounts by this time next year. The state of construction in Portland. All of the folks we've talked with have said that we're expecting about an 18 month downturn in construction activity. 18 months on a growing trend. Nearly all of BDS's revenue comes from permitting fees. The value of commercial projects permitted in Portland hit a high of 2.3 billion in 2018. That's dropped to one and a half billion today, the lowest point since 2014. The city's population decline, higher interest rates, and lenders being more strict with loans for new commercial projects, Ray says, are all factors for the drop. Because of some of the reduced values of commercial real estate over the last few years, they're finding it cheaper to buy existing buildings than to build new ones. For the year ending in June 2023, the Bureau was drawing about a million dollars a month from its reserves. The last three months, it's tripled to three million, a rate that would have burned through the reserves in one year's time. The response, layoffs. 16 temporary contracted and employees in a probationary period have already been let go. One week after Thanksgiving, another 56 will be laid off. We are doing everything we can um, to uh, minimize any sort of external um, service impacts that we can. It comes as Commissioner Rubio, who oversees BDS, has been working with other bureaus to reform a permitting process that developers have said can take years. Earlier this year, the City Council passed a resolution to combine the process from different bureaus, hoping for a more streamlined process. How will these layoffs affect that? Well, the permitting unification process that's been approved by City Council is still moving forward. And we're still committed to making that uh, process a success. It's something that we've been needing to do for decades. Part of the problem for BDS, there are no huge projects they see down the pipe. The Portland Airport roof project, that one is wrapping up. The Ritz-Carlton, that one is built. So really, those huge projects keeps the Bureau funded. Yeah, and it's just that we, but we were talking about basically like this Bureau itself and some of the trouble and, people have had navigating it. Basically. And how it was just a few years ago, you could count 16 cranes, I think, at one time mm -hmm. working in downtown Portland. Yeah. I mean, that keeps that Bureau in business, right. you know, when there's construction like that. Look how fast things can change. Yeah, that peaked in 2018, and without those cranes, that's the revenue. Yeah, incredible. Brandon, thank you. Well, an Oregon man who spent decades...